Okay, this is a slightly different angle than what I'm normally used to. I uh, was making a video in here earlier on and look at my tripod. I've taken the little bit off the top that connects into my mobile. I'm going to put it somewhere in this empire of shit that I own. And I don't know where it is, so... It wasn't very clever. It'll turn up. It'll need to turn up because I've got a brew day plan for tomorrow, so... What are we doing tonight? Shut up and tell us. Ooh, look at this. Stephen, over he is. Banana, I am your father. KBS clone from Swampin' Brewing. So, so basically, like ages ago, I sent John, John Swampin', as we know his name is, um, a KBS, my version of the KBS clone. I do have a couple of bottles left. The bottles that I have left are the dregs of, like, the fermenter. I mean, literally. So, uh, yeah, I've got a couple of bottles here. Two. Two bottles is what I have in my KBS. So basically John liked my KBS and then he brewed his own version and sent it over to me. He said it wasn't too good, but... Or it wasn't as good, maybe. I think was his word, so... But that's for me to decide. That's not for him to decide. So, little battle commence. The whole Star Wars theme, I'm not sure... What was, I think the label on mine now was dressed as Luke Skywalker. Um, and the label on his, he's obviously... Dorothy. So let's crack it. It's definitely lower down this camera. I was trying to get it done before the rain comes on because it can be quite loud in here um, whenever it's coming down. It's not even coming down that heavy, it's going to be really loud. Not as loud as this t shirt though, like now that I'm looking at it. Christ, I need Why am I wearing this in public? Come on. Did it say what percentage this was? It didn't say what percentage it was, however. He has sent me the, the notes to go with it. The Berliner Weiss. That is, yes, this is it here. So, ABV 8.1, really? Wow. I think mine is 8.5. So it says Gladfield Ale Malt. If you want the recipe for KBS, it's on the Home Brewers Association of America website. I'll put a link in the description. That's a proper one. Definitely worth. I can definitely recommend brewing it up. But do a small batch. Don't do go crazy and do like 23 liters, or you'll just you'll die basically. So what's in this then is Gladfield. Now I can't get any Gladfield malts. Presumably the same as the stuff we get over here, but slightly better because it's you know it's more exotic. Glassy Dale malt, dark brown sugar, that's what I used, light chocolate malt, roasted barley, dark chocolate malt, brown malt, supernova malt, whatever supernova malt is, and something that magnificently named Gladfield Sour Grapes Malt. I'm guessing that's acid malt, but that's just magnificent sour grapes. Because as we all know, sour grapes are the most delicious grapes of all. Okay, there's still a bit of nut. I'm going to save that for later on. Um, I think it's ball condition, so let's crack open mine. I'll just break this. Shit. Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, let's try that again. So uh, this, there's two bottles, one I'd taken out of the fridge whenever I took that one out, and this is the other one that's out of the fridge now. I do have something down here, so wish me luck in going in. So yeah, it's better. It's better because it's... It's better because it's colder. So yeah, I think we're trying to warm it up was a mistake. Especially when it's the dregs. So yeah, John's bottle has been sitting here for 
or his glass has been sitting here for a good couple of minutes. Don't need that. You can see, mine has no head whatsoever. It possibly is up because it's, it's very cold. I don't know, but that looks great. That's a victory for the um, for the dark side there. On the light side, it is less less Skywalker and more Jar Jar Binks at this point. But yes, they are still on the light side. So let's do John first. It smells like an Imperial Stout. Definitely does. There's a little bit of chocolate in there. I'm getting for sure. There's a hit of. It's like. It's like Irish coffee or something like that, you know? It's kind of got a boozy. a boozy coffee smell, sort of. Very nice. That little hint of um, chocolate. Mmm. Quite pleasant. It smells, it doesn't really smell like much because it's so cold. Yeah, it does have that little bit of um, coffee. Not so much of the chocolate. Mine is, this is like a year, over a year old. So yeah, this is definitely smelling. I think it smells better as well. It looks better. Mouth is not, it's not a full mouth. Though. It's kind of medium to go into full. And the taste is, the taste is not so much chocolate. It's kind of what I really liked about mine because it was, it tasted really chocolatey. God knows what it tastes like now. We'll soon find out. Yeah, it's kind of got that. It feels light. I mean, it's eight point one percent or something like that. It said. Well, not. I'm sure, John. You said that it wasn't. It wasn't quite as much as that. I think I want the kind of. I want it to be like an imperial, a big imperial stout in your mouth, and it's kind of soft and just magnificent. This tastes like a bit more of a light version of it. It's nice. It is nice. But it doesn't have the kind of mouthfeel that I want. And I want a bit more chocolate as well too. Let's have a go at this. I'm not sure what this is going to taste like now. The smell of the other thing was anything. The other one was anything to go by. It should be good. But who knows. Yeah, it's definitely got, it's definitely a more kind of bigger mouthfeel on that. It is starting to get a bit more carbonated as time goes on. And I I don't even know what it was, it was like a quarter of a teaspoon I was doing these bottles with, even less. And um, it's still not really crazy carbonation or nothing, but before it was kind of really, made it kind of really smooth. This way, it kind of tastes slightly different. It's still kind of, still get that coffee taste in there, but it's kind of, it seems to be moving toward like a more of a dark kind of taste, a kind of licorice type taste. It's not there yet, but it, it seems to be kind of moving toward that and away from the kind of the chocolate, which is what it was really like early on, early doors. You hear the rain now. I mean, that's definitely smoother, that one there, I think. But it does have that kind of light, lightness to it. 
which is weird because it's like 8%. Yeah, that one definitely tastes a bit more full, but it's, it's kind of veering into something different. That's, I suppose that's what is good about beers, is that they change over time, and God knows Imperial Stouts change over time. And um, it's kind of a, you know, you're taking care of a living thing, really, aren't you? If it changes, then it, it lives, doesn't it? So, so yeah, um, I think it's a good effort. I think it's a good effort. I, it's quite nice. It's a very nice taste on that. Very nice aroma. It's just that light taste on it that's kind of... just something, it's, it feels like there's something missing, but it is quite nice. It's, it's, the kind of light kind of taste on it is really, it's kind of makes it really drinkable, which you know, when it's 8%, it's probably not what you want, especially when you get two of them, because you knock, I knock this one in and then I'll go stuck into that one, and then I'll drink the rest of this one, and probably the rest of that one down there. So yeah, I don't think I've got anything more to say. Um, I do have a, an Imperial Stout from Frank. Frank has delivered me some beer yesterday, so uh, I'm very much looking forward to that. One of the beers is a two-year-old Russian Imperial Stout, so I maybe need to um, open it when it's cold and then let it settle and then come back to it in about half an hour when it warms up. But we'll know that from now on. So anyway, John, thank you very much for sending this to me. I will get you bear mail back. I owe you bear mail now, so I will get you something back. So at some point, I want to brew something decent. So cheers. <laughs>